Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for chromium-3 chloride plus sodium phosphate. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. I can see there are three sodium atoms here and just one here. So I'm going to put a three in front of the NaCl. That balances the sodiums. I have three chlorines, three chlorines here. I have a phosphate and a phosphate and a chromium and a chromium. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can balance the net ionic equation. And the first thing we do, we write the state for each substance. That looks like this. So compounds with the chloride ion here and here, they're usually soluble. Compounds with the sodium ion, they're almost always soluble. And in general, phosphates are insoluble. That means we have this chromium phosphate. It's going to be a solid. It's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. And we're not going to split this apart in the net ionic equation. Note that sodium phosphate, it is soluble. It has that sodium atom there, and that means that it's going to be a soluble compound. But chromium-3 phosphate, that is a solid. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. And that looks like this. So this is the balanced complete ionic equation. And note, we did not split the solid apart, but everything else we split apart into its ions. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. In the reactants, we have three of these chloride ions, also in the products. So those are spectator ions. We cross them out. Three sodium ions in the reactants and three sodium ions in the products. Spectator ions, we cross them out. And what's left, that's the net ionic equation for CrCl3 plus Na3PO4. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for chromium-3 chloride and sodium phosphate. You note that charge is balanced. We have a 3 plus, 3 minus. That adds up to 0. Net charge is 0. CrPO4, that's neutral compound, so its net charge is 0 as well. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for chromium-3 chloride plus sodium phosphate. Thanks for watching.